Hello everyone. Have some Boris gameplay for you. Very first match of this guy. I don't really know what he does. So we are going to find out. They added in a bunch of new actives that take your potion slots. I don't know how I feel about the fish being 300 gold. To transform somebody for two seconds is kind of crazy. But we'll see. It looks like they want you to build tank. So for this game, I will do that. Uh, I have the new Karma spell as well. That consumes our current health and does damage around us for 110% of whatever we just consumed. So that's kind of crazy. Okay, so we have Q that slams and knocks up. It's 126 damage base kit and 9% max health scaling, which is insane. Looks like E is the dash thing. That also does 4% max health. And bleeds them? Huh. Yeah. And then our right click gives us stats. It gives us 38 physical defense level 1. That's insane. I'm just going to take Q. Oh no. <laughs> Get wrecked. Get out of here, painting me. I push two and do damage for no reason. Oh, that's that's gonna be fun to spam all game. He's Russian too, if you didn't know by his accent. Okay. They also did a couple of font changes. I'm not sure how I'd like it. Because they made they had to make it bigger for it to match. It just kind of looks like it's stretched out. So, I don't know. It just feels different. I'm sure I'll get used to it eventually. Uh, there, Boris is in the jungle. I don't know how good he is in the jungle, but yeah. I, so, this guy uses energy instead of mana. And you restore your energy by doing different things. So, like, E will restore a certain amount. So now we just win because we gained 38 armor. I mean, I know it's a Wukong and pretty much everybody beats Wukong in lane, but how are you supposed to beat gaining 38 physical defense on a, a push of a button? I, there's just no beating it. And it gives me movement speed too. And this is for 4.2 seconds. Like, you can just win any trade in that amount of time. I don't 100% understand the ult yet. I was reading it while I was waiting for the match to proc. I'm leveling Q first 100%, by the way. Uh, I, I know that it restores our energy and enhances our other abilities. I think that's all it does. But we'll see. That was good by him. gonna go ahead and grab the health camp thing down here so it looks like your energy will also restore over time too looks like you get 10 per second so i love not having to worry about mana consumption it feels great like obviously i have to worry about it when you're comboing but i can just sit back and gain it all back Is he level? No, he's not. Okay. I thought he was a level ahead. You can just refund your E if you do it on a wave. I want a team fight. I like I wanna showcase what this guy can do here.
This guy is thirsty for the kill. Come on, give it to me. I pushed two, which kind of does a lot. Is that? Come on. Okay. So the mana consumption is a little difficult. It looks like you have to be able to use E effectively to keep using abilities in combat. But if you can keep using them, he kind of blows people up. Looks like Wukong just took my tower, but that's fine. It's like, whatever. I'm going to stay and wait for Zimia's because it's kind of a big power spike. Tower is under Plus, tower's gone anyway, so I don't really care. I might actually build this. This looks like a good idea because he hits with E so often. And I will say that ult, ult helps with the energy thing because you can push it and instantly regain it all back. Okay, so it restores all of his energy and resets the cooldowns on all of my skills. It also pushes nearby enemies doing 15% max health damage. And during that 8 seconds, all of my skills are enhanced. Sounds kind of crazy. So since it resets skill cooldowns, I'm just going to walk up, um, I'm going to E, E, Q, right click, because you can do all that, push ult, and then knock them up again. And then also, you know, gain more stats again, too. He doesn't want to fight. He's scared. I tried to catch him with my two, and that combo was messy on my part. Jonko got the kill, though. I kind of want to upgrade E. I, I feel like getting more stats out of right click would be cool, but gaining 38 physical defense level 1 is insane. I don't think you need to upgrade it any further. He has great wave clear. Right click also gives you movement speed, so. Alright, we lived. I'm actually going to go just for max health here. And since this gives 600 of it and a free stun when I'm about to die, I'm going to go ahead and build that. Alright, let's go blow some people up. We have ult. So my plan is to mash all of my abilities, push R, and then mash all of my abilities again. I don't really want to do it right now. 
Only because Narbash is dead either way. What is this? Hmm. I forgot that ult knocked back too. Actually, do I have enough to push? I don't. I don't know why I had enough to push all my abilities. So I can only push two. I need to remember that. Here comes the bear. I'll hunt you down, boy. These physical defenses are good. It helped me survive that Drongo, kinda. I will be back. I will be back. <laughs> right, I'm gonna go kill Wukong. Trying to split push. So the problem with pushing E to go in is that E is the, the ability, is your only ability other than ult that regains your energy. So you would have to hit, you would either have to hit them, no, because that wouldn't work. I'm trying to find out a way to do a combo to where I can push all of my abilities, um, ult, and then push them all again. But you would have to do E second or third for that to work. Or it'd have to be second. So I'd have to like, be next to them. Knock them up, push E, because that gives it back, and then push right click, and then immediately ult. If this makes any sense to anybody that's watching. I'm kind of just thinking out loud here. I'm just, I'm stacking the max health. I see 9% scaling and 15% scaling, so I, I go for max health. It's not even a question. Shaking the so I'm curious, it upgrades the movement speed too. That's scary. <laughs> I'm coming for ya. <laughs> I'm back here. Get wrecked. Get out of my game. Oh, I missed. Oh man. A, uh, knock up, knock back, and then a knock up again. That's insane. I didn't even push two, by the way, which is going to nuke people. What's, uh, who's a math nerd? What's 25% of, if I'm at max health, it's going to be 2,600. Thank you. Easy push to outplay. Uh oh, I gotta get out of here. Ah, that sucks. Was out of energy there, and very low health because I pushed two. They're gonna nerf this, by the way. Because I'm just going to walk up to somebody and murder them. Like, if I can get 4,000 max health, I, that would mean I would walk up to somebody and do 1,000 damage by pushing 2. Unless my math is wrong, which is possible. I can't wait to upgrade ult. It already does an insane amount of damage. So I'm going to go clear mid for this level 11. Belka. Alright, I'll take cooldown reduction too. <gasps> Hang on. 
Oh, come on, Bellica. I 100% win that team fight harder than she does. Should we just dive this lady? <laughs> Come on. That's that's broken. Oh. Like I pushed demoralize and she's a little under, but I mean like I'm a tank. All right. So, what does getting blue buff do? Does that like restore energy more or something? Better watch out. Mm. Nah, no, I got way too excited here. That's my bad. I might actually recommend running Blink on this guy. Just to help close the distance. Because you don't want to use E to close the distance ever. You need it for your combo. Kind of a bad team fight, but I can come back and carry. Wukong's actually fighting there, so I will go there as well. Hmm, never mind. They are. They're done. I was hoping maybe Bellica would bait them into fighting for a little bit longer. just gonna farm so I can get this. I don't need that much more gold for it, and it's kind of a big power spike since my scalings are so ridiculously high. Kong will be there, so I should probably try to cut him off. So I'm just going to level E for the damage, but I'm pretty sure you're supposed to level right click because it gives a ton of movement speed. I'll hop out down here. Come on. I didn't hit anything. And I got hit in the face like 20 times. Okay. Still not bad. We saved whoever that was that was being dived. And Dronko's popping off too. I go, come back. Okay, that is nano machines for a ton of health. Die stronger now. And then honestly, you know what? I think Star is a good idea this game with how many stuns and silences they have. I can just go in and murder everybody while immune. We are nearing the 4,000 health range. Once we build this, we'll have it. Because we'll get a little bit more when we level up. Don't 
the way he thought he was going to do there. He always dies. Goodbye. He definitely has ult. Uh-oh, this is bad. They surrendered anyway. Okay. Uh, GG. And I will see everybody in the next video. Probably another Boris video, but you never know.